the Port of Virginia is one of the main ports on the east coast of the United States. The port is growing rapidly and has gone through a major transition in the last 20 years, from a traditional port with facilities operated by top picks and RTGs, which is very common in the U.S., they converted their facilities to semi-automated terminals. Starting with, as we see here, VIG in Portsmouth, where a new area was developed into a semi-automated facility. With automated stacking cranes, shuttle trucks on the water side, and direct handling of road trucks on the land side. Here we see the process of the automated gate in multi-stage fashion. Now going towards the land side of the automated stacking crane, where in a very safe manner road trucks are being served with very good service levels. The terminal has high-density stacking, providing ample yard capacity. This feature also offers increased flexibility in situations where dwell time is prolonged. We see here the landside operation, remotely controlled, providing new types of jobs with better working circumstances which are also accessible to a wider range of staff. For example, consider individuals with partial disabilities who can work in these environments more conveniently. Here we see the decoupled operation on the water side with new hybrid drive shuttle trucks. Making use of these vehicles not only reduces CO2 emissions, but also other types of emissions, such as NOx, particles, etc. The decoupling enables a very high productivity. The productivity has consistently reached well over 40 lifts per hour, ensuring excellent service to the shipping companies. Next to VIG, we can see the evolution of Norfolk International Terminal. Starting with South NIT, converting from a straddle carrier operation to automated stacking cranes handling the yard, combined with shuttle trucks on the water side and road trucks on the land side, similar to VIG. Also, a new rail facility is being developed. Traditionally, the Port of Virginia handles rail with RTGs, but this will transition to very fast rail-mounted gantries served with decoupled trucks. The rail cranes are also remotely operated, which results in the same benefits as mentioned earlier for the landside operation. We see here the decoupling, which makes the tractor trailers very productive. With these state-of-the-art rail facilities, the connectivity of the Port of Virginia to the hinterland of the United States has improved significantly. Now we see the last conversion, which is currently in progress in North NIT. Again, a conventional straddle carrier facility converting to automated stacking cranes in the same fashion as VIG and South NIT. In addition, there will also be a number of low-profile key cranes to avoid interfering with air traffic of the neighboring Navy base. In conclusion, the changes at the Port of Virginia have been substantial, resulting in significant volume growth. This does not only fuel job opportunities, but also cultivates trade, leading to an increase in both employment and economic development. But it goes further than that. 
the Port of Virginia has been able to significantly reduce its emissions compared to the base case where traditional RTGs would have been deployed. At Portwise, we believe in the value of a connected world where logistics is and remains an important factor for well-being and prosperity worldwide. Visit portwiseconsultancy.com to learn how we give you the best advice that results in an optimized, sustainable, and smart working terminal.